Hello friends. So in the previous session we have been doing previous couple of sessions we have been doing a lot of numericals associated with the losses of the transformer. So today we will conclude this session by doing three or four important numericals. With that I think the concept of the core loss of the transformer should be etched inside your mind. You should not have any difficulty in understanding or doing any more problems associated with the uh, core losses of the transformer. Okay. So you should not stop here. The 12 or 15 odd numericals which I do does not uh, uh, make you an expert or does not make me even an expert in all these concepts. You should try on working on problems. From wherever you get uh, reliable sources, you should keep on working out problems. Then only your concept will improve. Okay. So today let us uh, start with a simple problem that is the, the low voltage winding. The low voltage winding of a 400 bar 230 volt single phase transformer is to be connected to a 25 hertz supply. Okay, so what they are telling is that this 230 volt uh, side, that is a low voltage side, they want to connect that to a 25 hertz supply. So they are telling what should be the voltage. Okay, that means the people who are trying to do this, they are, uh, you know that in the normal operation condition, so the normal operating condition, okay, under normal operation, I told you, if you are trying to change the voltage or the frequency, you should always ensure that the voltage by frequency ratio is constant. Okay, so B, why V by F should be constant? Okay, why V by F should be constant? It's because if V by F is constant, naturally Vm, that is the maximum flux density associated with the transformer, is also constant. That means the transformer will be working at its rated flux. Okay, that means all the core losses, etc. Uh, it is something which transformer can handle, and transformer will not go into deep saturation. I already told you, if you simply reduce the frequency, the flux will go to a very high value, which will lead to a very high excitation current and the transformer will go into something which is called a deep saturation, due to which it will uh, take in a lot of excitation current, more than what it is rated. So this is what uh, you have to maintain, V by F ratio has to be constant. That means V1 by F1 should be equal to V2 by F2. V2 in the sense the changed voltage of the primary. So here V1 value is equal to the low voltage side you want to change, right? So you have to take this voltage, 230. So 230 divided by uh, low voltage winding of, a, I think I forgot to mention here. So this is 50 hertz single phase transform, okay? So it's a 50 hertz single phase. So F1 is 50. Okay? And uh, you have to find what is the V2 and the reduced frequency is 25, okay? That means V2 is equal to 25 into 230 divided by 50. So, V2 value will be 115 volt. That means if you are reducing the frequency by half, you are also have to reduce the voltage by half. That is 115 volt. So, the transformer will work under the constant or the rated flux. So, the answer here is answer C. So, the first question, the answer is answer C. Okay. So, that is over. The first question was a simple question. The next question is that a 50 hertz uh, transformer having equal and uh, equal hysteresis and eddy current loss at the rated excitation. Okay, So when it is under rated excitation, that is for example the rated voltage to the primary is V1. So at V1 and 50 Hz, the hysteresis loss and the eddy current loss are same. Now it is operated at 45 Hz and 0.9 or 90 percentage of the excitation. Okay? So compared to the rated operating point, the core losses under this condition what happens to the core loss under this condition. So it reduces by 10%, it reduces by 19%, reduces by 14.5% or it remains unchanged. That is what we have to find in this particular question. So we will write down everything. So let the rated excitation be V1. Okay. And at that point, the frequency is 50 Hertz. Okay. So F1 is 50 Hertz. All right. And at this point, it is given that the hysteresis loss is equal to the eddy current. That is the WH1 is equal to WE1. So this is one part of the question, one given part of the question. So the other part is the transformer is operated at 90 percentage of the rated excitation. That means the V2 is equal to 0.9 V1, right? 90 percentage of the rated excitation. F2 is equal to 45 hertz. Okay. At this point, you have to find the reduction in the core loss. The reduction in the core loss. That means you have to find WI2 minus WI1 divided by WI1. Right? Why WI1 I am taking in the bottom? It is because it is asked compared to the rated operating point. So it is with respect to the rated operating point. Rated operating point is WI1. Okay, V1 50 Hz and WI1 are the rated conditions. 
so you have to find the reduction in copper law so you have to find wi2 wi1 etc okay so let us first find the v by f ratio so here the v by f ratio will be equal to v1 by 50 right so this is 0.02 into v1 right and here the v by v ratio in the next part is equal to 0.9 v1 divided by 45 okay and this value is also equal to 0 0.02 v1 so the v by f ratio is equal to constant so the transformer, uh, this problem is under the case 1 of the transformer. So this uh, problem is under the case 1 of the transformer. Okay. So let us first start by finding the, let us write the equations first. Okay. So you know that the, for the case 1, WH is proportional to frequency, right. That means uh, WH1 is proportional to F1, okay, uh, and WH2 will be proportional to f2 right for wh2 this is w this is the first condition to so wh1 this is the second condition to so wh2 okay so i can write wh1 is proportional to 50 f1 is 50 and wh2 is proportional to f2 is 45 right so from this i can write wh2 divided by wh1 is equal to 45 divided by 50 right so from this i can write wh2 is equal to 0.9 times of WH1. Okay, so this is one result that we have got. Okay, and next thing is the eddy current law. So the eddy current loss in case one is proportional to F square. These are all basic concepts. You can see the uh, losses of the transformer. I think it was part one or part two. In this I have mentioned all these things. Okay, case one, case two, etc. So WE1 will be proportional to F1 square, and WE2 is proportional to F2 square. Okay, so WE1 is proportional to 50 square. And the WE2 is proportional to 45 square because F2 is 45. So from this, I can write WE2 divided by WE1 is equal to 45 square divided by 50 square. Okay, That means WE2 is equal to W1 into, so if I solve this, I will get this 0.81 into WE1. Hmm? So we will just take these results to the next page so that we can continue with the question by doing it neatly. Whenever do you do these problems, you have to make sure that you are doing it neatly. If you don't do it neatly, you will make mistakes. Okay, so have a habit of doing all these things in a neat manner. Okay, so from these two results, sorry, so from these two results, I can write WI2 is equal to WH2 plus WE2. Okay, so the iron loss is equal to the sum of hysteresis loss and the eddy current loss. So WI2 will be equal to WH2, here it is. 0.9 WH1 plus 0.81 WE1. WE2 is 0.81 WE1. So you know that from the given uh, information of the question, you already know that the uh, his at rated condition, the hysteresis loss and eddy current loss are same. So at this point, WH1 is equal to WE1. So you already know that. So WH1 is equal to WE1. I am telling you, WH1 is equal to WE1 because it is given in the question. It doesn't mean that WH2 is equal to WE2. No. So don't think it like that. So this is because it is given in the question. Okay. So I can write WI2. I can just uh, replace it by WH1 throughout. So it is 0 0.9 WH1 plus 0.85. This WE1 I will replace by WH1. WH1. So WI2 will be equal to. Uh, WI2 is equal to how much? It is 1.71 WH1. Okay. So you have got WI2. So our ultimate objective is to find WI2 minus WI1 divided by WI1 into 100. This is the percentage reduction in the iron loss, right? So we have to find the WI1 now. So WI1 is equal to WH1 plus WE1, right? Simple. But it is given that WH1 uh, and WE1 are equal. So that's given in the problem. So I can write this uh, WI1 as 2 into WH1, right? So the percentage reduction, I can write w i 2 minus w i 1 divided by w i 1 into 100 very simple so w i 2 is how much 1.71 w h 1 so 1.71 w h 1 minus w i 1 is 2 into w h 1 2 into w h 1 divided by 2 into w h 1 into 100 so if you do this you will get minus 14.5 percentage this negative sign shows that the iron losses are reducing okay Sorry, <laughs> almost fell out from my hand. Yeah. So, 
this is 14.5 per minus 14.5 percent that is the answer so from this you can see that it is the answer c okay so for this question the answer is answer c okay so that question is also over i think i am making you almost saturated with uh, all these uh, numericals but still it is good uh, all these uh, uh, problems are very concept Well, and once you do all these problems, you will be able to do most of the problems which are asked in any kind of competitive exams or in future when in even in your workplace etc. If some conditions uh, related to all these things arise, you will be able to properly judge your uh, decisions based on all these concepts. So the next question is uh, a very simple question. At 50 hertz operation, a single phase transformer has a hysteresis loss of 200 watts and an eddy current loss of 100 watts. Okay. So its core loss at 60 hertz operation, if BM value is constant, okay. So they themselves have given BM value is constant. That means this comes under the case one of the uh, conditions. Okay, this is under case one problem. So we will just uh, write down. So given it is given values are the F one is equal to 50 hertz, okay, and they have given W H one is equal to 200 watts. They have given W E one to be 100 watts. So you have to find what is W I two. So W I two is nothing but W H two plus W E two. So you have to find these two values here. So you know that this problem because B M value is given to be constant, it is coming under case one. So in case one, W H is proportional to what? It is proportional to frequency. So I can write W H is equal to A into F. Okay. So from this, I can from this information, I can write this. The W H two is equal to A into F two. Okay. And the eddy current loss for case one is proportional to F square, so eddy current loss is equal to B into F square, right? So W E two will be equal to B into F two square. Okay. So what is the F two value? The F two value is sixty hertz, right? So F two value is sixty hertz. Okay. So this this will become A into sixty, and this will become B into sixty square. But we don't know the values of A and B. For that we can use the new values given here. Okay, so what are given in the problem? So just like I wrote W H two is equal to A into F two and W is equal to F B into F two square, I can also write, I can also write W H one is equal to A into F one, right? So W H one value is two hundred watts. So two hundred is equal to A into and F one is fifty hertz. So this fifty. So A value will be equal to. Hmm, let me just see what is the A value here. So the A value is equal to four. Okay, and W E two I can write as B into F one square. Okay, not E two E one. W E one is equal to B into F one square. That means uh, W E one is hundred watts. Hundred is equal to B into F one is fifty. So fifty square. So B value will be equal to how much? So the B value here it is equal to point zero four. Okay, B value is point zero four. So these two values I can substitute here. So W H two is equal to A into sixty. So this will be equal to four into sixty. So this two forty watts. Okay. W E two will be equal to B into sixty square. So B is point zero four into sixty square. So this value will be how much? One forty four watts. So this value is one forty four. So W I two, which is the what is asked in the question, is W H two plus W E two. So this is two forty plus one forty four. This value, therefore, will be three eighty four watts. Okay. So from the options, you can see it is answer C. So for this question, the answer is C. Okay. So let us move on to the next question, and this uh, finally it is the last question. Okay. So you don't have to uh, bear me with the numericals related to losses. This will be the last numerical. The next session we will be starting with the testing of the transformers. Okay. So <clears throat> the last problem is that a single phase transformer, when supplied from 220 volt 50 hertz, has an eddy current loss of 50 watts. Okay, so we'll just write down what is given. So V1 is equal to 220 volt, and F1 is given to be 50 hertz. They have given that the eddy current loss W1 is equal to 50 watts. Okay, so they are asking if the transformer is connected to a 2 330 volt 50 hertz. Okay, 330 volt 50 hertz. What will be the eddy current loss? A very simple problem. Okay, so they are telling that V two is equal to three thirty volt, and F two is same as fifty hertz. Okay, so what will be the eddy current loss? W E two they are asking. Okay, 
So if you find v by f ratio for the first case, it will be 220 by 50. Okay, we will not calculate this. For the v by f ratio for the second case, it will be 330 divided by 50. Clearly, 220 by 50 is not equal to 330 by 50. So you don't have to calculate it. So v by f is not a constant value. v by f not constant, that means this is coming under case 2. Now they have asked only for the eddy current loss. So in eddy current loss is proportional to how much? The eddy current loss for case 2 is proportional to v square, right? That means we is equal to b into v square. A is for hysteresis and b is for b is used for eddy current loss. Okay. So so we2, you have to find we2, right? So we2 will be equal to b into v2 square, that is v into 330 square. But you don't know the value of b. So to find the value of b, you can give, use the given data. Okay. So this is something which is given here. We1 is given. So we1 will be equal to v into v1 square. So we1 is how much? 50 watts, right? So 50 is equal to b into 220 square. Okay. That means the b value will be equal to um, 1.033 into 10 power minus 3. Okay. So you have found out the b value. So we2 will be equal to 1.033 into 10 power minus 3 into 330 square. Okay, so you substitute this value here. So we2 value is equal to how much? 112.5 watts. So 112.5 watts. Okay. So basically here what you have done is that you are increased the voltage, and by increase the voltage, naturally what will happen? The uh, eddy current loss will increase. So it is first we1 was 50 watts. We2 is 112.5 watts. So we will see that. So it is clearly see B option is available 112.5. So therefore, the answer is B. Okay, so let us conclude today's session. Uh, with this, we have done a lot of numerical associated with the losses of the friends. Okay. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Do please recommend these videos with your friends so that if people who are having difficulty in understanding this concept, they will also benefit from the videos with this from this channel. Uh, of course, people can watch the other videos also on DC machines, synchronous machines and engineering circuit tunnels as well. The next uh, video, mostly we will start with uh, the testing of the transformers, that is the open circuit test and the short circuit test, the resistance determination test and the polarity test of the transformer. Okay. So till I see you in the next video, it's me Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you.